guys, today I'm going to be concluding the um, Elite Four round two showing. Um, and before I start off, if you see some level changing, you're going to see some level changing in some of my Pokemon. That's because I recorded this before and uploaded it on YouTube and then realized and then watched it and was thinking and I was like, I'm going to redo this. So that's why you're going to see some level changes. Um, so, let's get started. We've defeated Bruno, you saw last time. Um, we did Bruno, and now we're going to do Agatha. Agatha, I think she is a, a poison type trainer. A lot of people say she's a ghost type trainer, but I believe she's poison. And we're just going to go through the dialogue here. Okay, in the comments, I want you to, uh, I want you to see, are, were Professor Oak and Agatha dating? Um, and if you think so, what do you think broke them up? I want to know your opinion. Or do you think they still are dating? Okay, Gengar. What Agatha likes to do is, um, it seems like she likes to use, every time I played it, she likes to use Sludge Bomb. And that's why I sent out my Nido King, is because, um... The I have Shadow Bomb on Nidoking, King and Poison does not affect a poison type, so I cannot get hurt by poison or such bomb. So we're gonna shadow ball you. Okay. Arbok. Okay, I'm going to stay in because um, I have Earthquake, and Earthquake is super effective against Arbok. But I believe Arbok also has Earthquake, so... Um, my level, since I'm at a high level, that shouldn't be an issue. But just for future reference, uh, this thing does have Earthquake, so it can attack Nido King as well. So we're just going to Earthquake... Mischievous. This is a Johto Pokemon. She did not have this in round one. Um, this is a ghost type, and um, it has, um, one of the things it has is it has Psychic, so it might hurt me a bit with Psychic, so, but I'm going to Shadow Ball it. That should, that should knock it out, but I've had it live before and use Psychic and, you know, do some damage to me, so. Yeah, okay, I took it out, yay. Gengar, okay. Nido King is just wrecking a lot of things. Especially in this battle. Um I don't know, who do you think was MVP? Um we didn't see Gold Deck a lot. See, it likes to use psychic as well, so that that did a pretty good chunk. Oh gosh! Um I I was not expecting that. Hold on a minute. Okay, oops, sorry. That, wow. I, I was, <laughs> that was, Okay, yeah, it used, uh, oh, gosh. That's weird that it didn't knock it out in one hit, though. Okay. Okay, now it's down. Now it's down. Crowbat. This is the, the evolved form of her, um, of her gold bat that she had in round one. And I have Ice Beam, so I will not be changing Pokemon. Okay, that went well. Okay. 
Okay, that that was kind of a weird one because I've had every other time I've had that Gengar one hit KO. But then it like it almost destroyed me with psychic. I almost died. Um Okay, next up is gonna be Lance, and I believe he has a Gyarados. Because he's supposed to be the Dragon Type Masters. The Dragon Type Master, but there's not enough dragons in this game. So he has to use dragon lookalikes. So that's why Arid uh, Aerodactyl. That's why Gyarados is there in Aerodactyl. I've noticed that there is a lot of talking in this game. Um, when I was a child, you had kids younger than I was. I was like 10 playing this game, so I could read. You know, I had... Um, I could read. But, um... You had kids like 5 playing this game. I was like, how did you, did you get past it, you know? But they probably just over-leveled and killed a bunch of Pokemon. Um, I had a friend of mine... She actually bought the game, and she has, um, she has children, and her children, um, like this game because they like just destroying the Pokemon. Like, they don't do this whole, they didn't do this whole, like, what I'm doing where I'm leveling them up and all that stuff. They liked the wild Pokemon aspect of it where they, where they, uh, just, oh, I, I defeated a wild Pokemon because they were so young, and her Pokemon were at, like, a really high level because... Her kids would play it also. Okay, Aerodactyl. This is a rock and flying type, so it's not dragon. What this thing does is it's really, really fast. And, um, sometimes it will live with, like, a little bit of HP. And it'll attack you first sometimes. And then it will live with a little bit of HP. And it might use, like, Hyper Beam or something crazy like that, and it could knock you out. And then, sometimes if it gets low enough, it will, um, like, if he likes to heal. I don't know, though, because this is... Let's see. We haven't seen a lot of Gold Duck, so I wanted to use Gold Duck. Okay, oh, cool! It knocked it out in one hit. Oh, yay! 91. Dragonite. This should go down. Dragon is weak to ice. How is that, you ask? I don't know. Dragonite again. This should go down. No problem. And actually, um, in the round one, he had Dragonairs, so I think that those are the ones that have evolved. Okay, Kingdra. This one is um, kind of difficult because it's a dragon and water type. It's the evolved form of Seedra. And, um, like, um, so it's not, it's, it's water, so it's not weak to ice. It's, like, neutral. So, um, and what it likes to do is it likes to use Dragon Dance. And that raises... Like, it's, I'm not sure what it raises, but it raises a whole bunch of stuff. And then, but you think, oh, okay, see, it's using it right now. And it's raising, I can't, speed and attack? Yeah, speed and attack, I saw. So, it's not doing anything to you, but if you, um, it might, like, well, that went down a problem, but it could do some damage because it's raising all this stuff, and then it will, like, unleash, pretty much. Okay, that went well. Again, game dialogue. Let me switch my Pokemon. Your rival! 
Okay, another theory. Why is your rival so douchey? I don't have a theory. I just think maybe it's like dad is rich and he's like this I don't know maybe he's or maybe maybe he thinks he's better because he is Professor Oak's um grandson so maybe he thinks he's better I don't know if you have a theory please post in the comments okay this is Heracross this is a Johto Pokemon and it's a bug and fighting type but you have to be careful with this thing because if it's faster than you it knows um, Horn Drill, and Horn Drill is a one-hit KO move. It's not very accurate, but when it hits, it is one-hit KO all the time. I know a lot of some. I know in the Pokemon Stadium, a lot of the um, gamblers would use that. Okay. Oh, growing up levels. Yeah, for growing up levels. Okay, I have the charcoal on um, Arcanine, so. The flamethrower has same type attack bonus as well as I'm holding my chapel. So this should go down no problem. Okay. His starter's down. His starter is his highest level Pokemon. Tyranitar. This one is difficult. Um, when he sends it out, it's going to have, um... What do you call it? It's going to have a sandstorm. So, um... So it's going to attack you with Sandstorm. It's not going to attack him because he's part ground, but it's going to attack you every time. But the good thing about that Sandstorm is it's kind of a double-edged sword in a way because it attacks you, but once this thing is knocked out, it's going to attack his Pokemon. It's going to attack every other Pokemon um, that, that he sends out along with my Pokemon. But, I mean, so I guess it works both ways. Okay, that went down. Alakazam. Um, hmm. Um. Um. Let's get Jolteon and use a Shadow Ball. How can Jolteon? I didn't even know Jolteon. I was like messing around with this. A while ago, because I've had this name a while, and I figured out that Jolteon could use um, Shadow Ball, and I was like, oh, I'm so teaching him that. I didn't even know that. I wasn't even... I... Um, I'm not too, like, as far as move sets and all that. I don't know every move. I have to look a lot of things up, but I was just kind of messing around. Oh, oh, Alakazam is, is down. Okay, awesome. Okay, um, Gyarados, okay, I'm sticking in, I'm staying in, I'm staying in. Thought, just like with Lance, of uh, water and flying, let's go. For oh my gosh, this takes forever. Come on. See, it's going to attack him as well. I don't know if you saw that, because I was like talking, so... I have my throat's a little raspy. I don't. It's it's like ten o'clock at night, so. Okay. Oh. Okay. Arcanine. We are switching to our starter. We started with him, or, and we're gonna finish with him. He didn't get a lot of action in this game. I don't know why your starter should be your best Pokemon, but I guess like Nido King really did. Um the brunt of the work, especially with, um, well, I don't know, who, who do you think is MVP most valuable Pokemon, let me know, Hydro Cannon, this is like an elemental hyper beam, oh, it's going to use extreme speed, that is like a hardcore quick attack, basically, and it will attack first just like quick attack, but it's a lot more hardcore, it does a lot, a lot more damage, and the Hydro Cannon, that is a pretty much an elemental hyper beam. I've heard they call that. Oh, it's down! It's down! Okay, we're done. We're done. We defeated our rival, but we kind of crushed his dreams. 
Professor Oak? Wait, wait, wait. At the beginning of the game, he says that he can't um, travel anymore, you know, and that's why he's giving you this, uh, this assignment. And how did he make it here? I don't understand. Someone figure this out. Someone help me figure this out. Because there's like the hardcore cave. How how did he make it here? But then he can't I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Okay, he's healing your Pokemon for you. And they're going to be um they're going to be, um, put in the Hall of Fame. Saving! I hate this. I mean, I wish it would just start over. In the other games, were there credit when in the original? I don't remember. Were there credits like not like this because this is like high hardcore, more better graphics. But or did it just black out or white out? I don't remember. And um, you can't really skip through these credits, so I'm gonna. I I'm not gonna have you watch the credits because you're probably not gonna watch them anyway. Um, and you have to turn the game off. So, I want to say thank you to everyone that's that's seen this. And, um, like and subscribe. And tell me what you think about the video and the questions I posted and the, er, proposed in this video. And, um, I'm thinking of doing more Pokemon walkthroughs and stuff like that. Funny, po fun Pokemon videos. Um, along, I also have book reviews, so gaming is meeting prints, I guess. So, um, look for those, um, and it was, this was really a lot of fun, and this was just something I did just for fun, just kind of on a whim. So, ooh, I've never seen this. Okay, um, something I did on a whim, so I'm glad that some people liked it. Um, like, subscribe, um, and all that. Thank you. Bye.